review of the Die Invasion series, the I-4s, the new ones. And as you can tell by this gold right here, this is the Collector Edition item goggles system. So Die Invasion I-4s, so just on the back side of this box, you got some different colors. You got white gold, white camo, red liquid, tan liquid, and gray liquid. I obviously got gold and black. On this side, you just say that it has soft ears, well, which is comfortable for your ears, so you don't have hard plastic resting up against it, which can get really annoying sometimes. And it's 20% lighter than the previous mask before it, so the i3 is a lot lighter. On this side, it just explains how it has great UV protection, and it has scratch-proof lenses on both sides, so not just the outer part where paintballs can get hit, but also the inner part which you look out of. So that's pretty cool. So let's get inside this box. Right away, I'm just going to let you know, these were $134 on actionvillage.com. I just decided to get these instead of buying a different mask and getting a different lens because it's going to be the same price, so why not just get the cooler ones, in my opinion. So right away, you see the goggle itself, the warranty. This has already been warrantied, so if you're good enough, it's you can't really do much if I show you this. Okay, then you have your little instruction manual telling you how to take the lenses off, you know, how to tighten it, the different parts on it, what's adjustable, what's not, and what's inside it as a whole. You get this cool black bag, which I think is pretty awesome. It says I4 Invasion, just for the goggles themselves. And they actually fit in there with enough room to move around. Now let's get on to the main reason, the bottom of the box. I'm just joking with you. The goggle system itself. Now, if the camera's picking this up right, you should not be able to see my hand back here. Okay, so it's can't see it because it's reflecting everything off, which is so cool in my opinion. It's basically intimidation, so when you're out there on the field and someone sees you pop from behind a bunker and all they see is this gold flash lens, they're going to be like, why me? So as you can see, everything is in gold and black from even the strap itself to this tiny die ball right here. So here, and this is the mount, this is where you're going to breathe out of. Um, it's perfect, it's a lot easier to talk out of than the I3s in my opinion because it just goes right out and air comes right in. Um, breathing here as well, along the side, here. I'll just show you what it looks like when you have it on. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, you can't really see through. You know, my chin is shown a little bit here, but you can't really see it coming out from underneath. And it's here. So that's the only, like, disadvantage, I guess. And the little straps right here in the back, which is perfect for me. The only disadvantage, I guess, of this mask is it doesn't really fully cover your face. So if you get, like, hit here, you know, you got really nothing to protect it. But, you know, the odds of somebody doing that with this thing covering your whole head and you're behind a bunker are kind of lower than what they would be if you had it, you know, they'd just be lower. So that's the mask and how it looks. I can't wait to take this thing out on the field. If you have $134 to spend and are looking for a top-of-the-line mask, go with this. And again, if you're not, then, you know, go with any other mask. I know the Dye i3s are going from anywhere from, like, $89. And you can find them on Craigslist, too, which is really cool. So, again, this is the Dye i4 Invasions Black and Gold Collector's Edition. Um, they don't even sell them on the Dye website anymore, which I think is a shocker. So they're kind of going fast. So if you can find them, that's great. Uh, check out next week's video which is going to be a review of the Empire Axe, Empire Magna Loader, or Gears of War 3. It's either going to be one of those three, um, and if you want, we'll do a little vote. Just put it in the comment section below which one you will want us to see review next. So again, $134 mask. Honestly, I think it's worth it. I mean, you get the cool lens. You get, you know, much more breathable. It's lighter. It's going to block you more. It has, you know, it's not going to have a little dent there to hit you in the forehead. Um, and if you wear glasses, it's no big deal. I mean, it'll go right over them. So, it's, in my opinion, it's a great mask. So, thank you.